Hello everyone and welcome to another Saturday Surprise Show. It's just going to be me and Billy this time. Woo! And we're kind of running on like low energy here, so I yeah. thought we'd do something a little easier. Yeah. And I did promise no more tier lists. Yeah. So. It's like, oh, you kept your promise, so that's good. Yeah. If I'm not anything, I do try to keep my promises. <laughs> and I was looking online, and eight all-time worst toys ever is what I found. Okay, it's probably only in the top eight. Yeah. I, I wanted a shorter list just due to energy restraints. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so this will be a quick episode, I assume, but we'll try to make the most of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm... Buying time here because I know the first thing on this list, and <laughs> I gotta get past the minute sensor. Yeah. <laughs> so, Billy, tell us a story quick. <laughs> do, 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 do. I don't know. <laughs> you are horrible at improv. We're gonna work on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, the first thing on the list is Playtime Uterus. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah. Because what kid <laughs> doesn't want to play with a uterus? <laughs> Well, forget the song by Daily. My uterus, my uterus. uterus. <laughs> Won't you play? <laughs> okay, we'll stop. Yes. Yeah, some toy executive somewhere thought this was a great idea, but not. It's not. <laughs> no. Nothing screams worst gift ever. Like giving your kid an atomic pillow <laughs> correct stuff to you. It's like. But yeah, this kind of sounds good for school. It's like said. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it was supposed to be. Like, it's supposed to teach, <laughs> like, sex ed. Oh, this is my job. It's the uterus. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it wasn't a hand puppet. Barbie happy family with pregnant Mitch. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know where to start on this no. one. I mean, we get all the weird Barbies, but this... Oh, oh we're going to get weirder, don't worry. Oh, boy. She's Barbie's best teen, a married gal named Midge, who's <laughs> pregnant with her second kid. She's also a little too real looking for most parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And if that face was new, this face of Chucky over here. <laughs> yeah, no, that does look like Chucky. <laughs> Next is La La Loopsy Baby Diaper Surprise. Oh. I've actually seen a commercial, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah. If not something similar. Very something similar. All it is is basically the kid craps itself and it's supposed to be a little gift for you to find. Yeah, like what the... I don't think you're supposed to be teaching kids that. No. Like, you, you be teaching them how to do it when they're older, when they're old kids eat stuff, and... <laughs> oh, Press God. the belly, and La La Loopsie gives you a surprise in her diaper. Now, the only question is when La La Loopsie's going to learn to use the toilet. She's certainly old enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we wouldn't get the surprise in the diaper if she used the toilet. Uh, uh, yeah, right? Like... Barbie growing up skipper doll. She's two dollars and one for twice as much fun. Uh. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Like, make, her... make her grow from oh. a young girl to a teenager in seconds. Oh! <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want to know how. No, and um... <sighs> Came up with that idea? Yeah. He's all the company. With the twist of an arm, literally, <laughs> Skipper grows from a girl to a teen. She also goes from flat chest to an estimated T double T cup. <laughs> the original oh. came out in 1974, so she was only available as a Blanker's piece. But she is available just in case your kids want a doll that closely resembles a stripper. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right, yeah. Whoever designed this is along with the company is on a very special list. Yes. yes. <laughs> Et Pegger Light. I've seen these. Yeah. Yeah. 
We all know. <laughs> we all know. Yeah. Okay, this one got my attention. Narwhal place it with animals to impale. <laughs> nice! <laughs> this place that comes with not one, but three animals for the narwhal to impale. Think of all the fun your kids could have with this totally inappropriate toy. <laughs> the avenging narwhal. Like, he's back, and now he's pissed. Yeah. But they're so awesome. <laughs> like, what? Why would they have the name of the Avenging? Because it impales animals. Fair enough. <laughs> that looks more like a koala than a fucking polar bear, by the way. Yeah. So that is totally not supposed to be here. Yeah. And I love how, like, there's an interchange of color horns. Oh, yeah. You can change the color of its horn. So, so we have the... Red Darth Sith horn. Yeah. The blue hero Jedi. Just a black yeah. and a white. <laughs> I mean, we make two Sarah's weapons. We can figure out what to make the other two weapons yeah. for. Or that could just be blood. I mean, I mean that's what I was thinking. Like, let's go like a. That's like. <laughs> you put that on first, then you stab, then switch out and make it look like you're just killing blood. Yeah. The Avenging Unicorn. <laughs> what is with giving <laughs> kids and appealing <laughs> animals? <laughs> kids love unicorns, except for when that kid can kill with them with their horn. But you can't buy this impaling unicorn storage. You can only buy it on eBay. <laughs> I, I guess I... Hey, I don't want something like a crew or nothing. I think unicorns are kick-ass. <laughs> I have to see this one? <laughs> yeah, that's why I lost on a little pony. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking Bad Dolls. Who doesn't want their child to play with toys based on a TV show of a guy who makes personal math? <laughs> I know. I mean, I don't think this is actually marketed to kids, though, is the thing. This no. It's just I mean, be a collector's thing. Yeah, I mean, I've James on Bob action figures. Yeah, I've seen ton of, like, really inappropriate action figures. Yeah, from- like... Franchises aren't for kids. No, like, and if not, remember back in the day when you get Terminator toys and RoboCop toys? Oh yeah, yeah, those were so for kids. Kids, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for the list. So, out of the eight, the most inappropriate one <laughs> for me is this one. Yeah, <laughs> Midge and Baby. Yeah. <laughs> This comes very close. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the second for me, but I think it's a tie for... First? First, for that one, and the other Barbie one. Yeah, this is a little... <laughs> yeah. Mm, well, that's gonna put you on a list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like... Like... Like, I always wonder, like, who comes up with these ideas, right? Yeah. I just want to try to read the package. Uh, it doesn't tell you like, what it does, and I imagine the back would probably Yeah, the back. But, so you pull her arm and her boobs pop out, that's what I'm getting? <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. I just pull the arm, just strap pump it. No! <laughs> right? Like, what the hell? I've seen that so many times now, it's not even phasing me. No. And besides... It's just a design flaw. It wasn't really... Oh, yeah. I don't know. Why did Bob the kids, but... Yeah. It's like, Bob, where's my... Where's my E.T. finger? <laughs> That's um, mine. Yeah. <laughs> the Narwhal playset... Okay, maybe not for younger children. No. Maybe six and up. Yeah. <laughs> You're generous. I would say, like... Nine and up. Yeah. Avenging Unicorn, <laughs> maybe not. No. <laughs> I don't see a boy playing with it. Those are really messed up. Yeah. And I don't see a girl enjoying the impaling aspect of it. Yeah, so who would enjoy this? Yeah. Also, why am I? Well, I know that a lot's a terrible thing to race. I was waiting for that. <laughs> And then, yeah, this is probably more collector. Yeah, like, this is... Like, of all the ones, 
The last one shouldn't even be on the list, in my yeah. opinion. No. Well, with that, though, that'll be a short episode, but we'll call it here. So thank you all very much for listening in. And until then, tune in next time. Hmm. Dang it.